man, do I have an interesting topic to talk about today. Uh, This is one that's been weighing on us a lot. We've had some discussions with other people. Regardless, I think this is going to be one topic that's about as controversial as Hulk 181 and Hulk 180 is. So hit the like button while the intro plays. Let's talk about it. All right, so before I get into the topic uh, and give my point of view and my thoughts on it, I want to first point out we live in a wonderful world where there are plenty of opinions. That's great. Open discourse is a wonderful thing. Positive open discourse is a great thing. So don't be mad with my opinion, whether you believe one way or another. I'd love to hear yours down in the comment before or after. Let's talk about it. Let's discuss it. Let's be positive about it. Should local comic shops Raise prices on the key books day one. It's a new comic book day. Comic shop opens 12 o'clock. You walk in. The hot book for the week is now $9.99. Is that wrong? Well, maybe. Maybe not. So here's my thoughts on it. If you have a pull list or you pre-order or you FOC, whatever it is you want to call it, if you've discussed with your local comic shop you want X number of copies of that hot book and they're in your pull list for cover price. That's the way it should be. If that comic shop owner takes your pull, jacks everything up past issue, you know, one copy, even though you FOC'd or you pre-ordered, that's an issue. Now, that's my opinion. Another scenario. Noon, new comic book day, walk into your shop, Oh, Star Wars High Republic number one sitting on the shelf. You didn't pre-order. You didn't FOC. You did not put it on your pool. Comic Shop now has $9.99 on all of the books. Is that an issue? Or maybe it's $20.99 because that's what uh, it's, it's currently going for. Is that a problem? In my opinion, no. And I'll tell you why. These local comic shops, big or small, they have an overhead they have a lot more uh, at risk from a monetary standpoint than we do as collectors. So if this was a big hot book for you that week, pre-order it. Put it on your, you know, FOC it, whatever. And if you don't know what that is, uh, we have some videos talking about FOC and pre-orders if you're new to comic book collecting. But for a comic shop to put the comic up there for $3.99, and then you have people that will walk in and buy every single issue off the shelf for cover price turn around go put it on facebook groups ebay instagram for three four five six times the price and then sell it the same day what's the difference i would rather the money to go to my local comic shop to be able to maintain uh their 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 ability their livelihood uh the ability to fund my hobby to to have somewhere safe to go talk about comics and and somewhere fun to go hang out with on the weekends and people uh, who enjoy the same things I do, I would rather that money go to them than I would some random guy that has never been to that comic shop before running around all the local comic shops, grabbing everything off the shelf to go put it on eBay, Instagram, or Facebook, whatever. So that's my opinion on it. Um, I think a lot of people share a similar opinion on it that as long as you're taking care of your pull list customers, sure, go ahead and Put that $9.99 cover price on it, you know, a sticker on it. And we're not talking about variants or, or, you know, 1 in 25 ratios, 1 in 50s, etc. Obviously, those are meant to help support the local comic shop in that way. But, you know, I, I thought pretty hard about this. You know, at, at first I was like, man, this is insane. Why would you do that? You're getting the books first day. They shouldn't be priced up. Blah, blah, you know, and I'm like, and the more I thought about it, why, why shouldn't they? Um... And again, this is just a conversation and thinking out loud about it, but think about it if you're a business. Uh, If you have the ability to sell those comics at that price, you've taken care of the people that have done their due diligence, uh, and sure, there are going to be some people that walk in and want to read this story and 
you know, if you have a good relationship with your comic shop owner and they know, hey, you're not going to go take 15 copies or, or your one or two copies and go flip it on eBay immediately day one. I'm sure they'll work with you on it, man. But it's really no different. And I know people are going to say, well, they're the retail space and they absolutely should. Diamond would be mad with them in this, that, and other. And it's like, well, if, if you're really mad about it, you know, are you the one that goes in and buys all of it? Yeah, it's just, it, it, it's, a, it's a sticky topic. But remember, the comic shops, man, those are the ones we need to support. Those are the ones that, you know, are giving us a place to go in and buy comics. And it's not been an easy year. Uh, the speculation trend is just booming. Um, so absolutely, man, if it's, you know, Star Wars High Republic number one, comic shops are getting calls from, calls from people they've never even spoken to. Sure, put that 99 cover price on it and take care of your, your regular customers and your customers that have pools, things like that. I, I don't see an issue with it. Um, I do get some of the counter arguments. That's fine. But I think from a comic shop standpoint, you've got to understand, I think it's okay. I, I think uh, I think if you step back, remove the FOMO a little bit of that maybe you're going to miss out on flipping that book or or getting that, you know, a lot of people do the buy buy two or three copies, you know, but a lot of those people that do that, man, they 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 FOC or pre-order. So, you know, let me know what you think. I mean, what are your arguments against, you know, should comic shops charge more on day one or should they wait two or three days? What's the difference? Other than two days later, they may not have any because some guys walked in off the off the street and bought 15 copies off the shelf and that was it so i've seen it before i've heard my local comic shop i've heard other local comic shops where some guys walked in bought 15 covers uh of the same book didn't leave any on the shelf and now you know they're gone and yeah obviously they're making their sale off of it but i still think they should be allowed to mark up that price a little bit i don't think we should as, you know, as fans of the comics, you know, really give them grief for that. You know, just do your due diligence, put a put a put a pull list together, and it's it's super easy. A lot of people do FOC videos like Simple Man's and places like that. So uh, there are some resources out there, to, and it does put a little bit more effort into it. But you know, it, it, it is what it is, right? I mean, that's what comic books have kind of come down to. It's uh, almost like you're combating the spec if you're just a casual reader. And that's unfortunate, but it is reality. So understand that next time you go into your local comic shop and maybe you do see an increase in prices on the regular covers for that hot book. Uh, and again, we're not talking about ratios or those really high-end exclusives. Just cover a you know the, that, that one hot book of the week. So, um, but again, this was supposed to be a bit of a positive dialogue, um, a positive discourse, if you will. So uh, let's continue that in the comments. You know, leave, leave fair, uh, kind, and positive comments. Don't don't start a name calling with other people, stuff like that. That's no fun. It doesn't do anybody any good. But I would genuinely like to read everybody's opinions because this is one I've kind of come to over the last couple of years, especially now with COVID and things like that really affecting comic shops and. Uh, again, just one man's humble opinion. Uh, don't hate. Let's let's talk about it. So, as always, guys, you are the best part of Two Brothers Comics. Collect your way.